Hey guys, what is up? It's Fernando here with TCG Hawk Rocks, and we've got a bit of a post rotation deck actually. So I've been asked a lot in my league what decks could you play during post rotation, and I've, I've been thinking about it too. And I think Dark Rye will be pretty good. You know, the hammer, the Dark Pulse Dark Rye, 20 damage for each Dark Energy attached to all your Pokemon plus 20 for two colors is pretty good. And then we've got the Restoration Darkrai, which I find really, really cool because you can, you know, dump energy into this pile and then pick up energy. It seems really, really good to add 20 more damage per turn for this Darkrai. And then plus we're still playing Yveltal and Tapu Lele. And, cause they're, and they're all logical attackers too, like for 3, 130, the GX attack doesn't matter. For three, one hundred, flip a coin. This Pokemon can't attack next turn. Whatever. Tapu Lele is just good in general. It finds you a supporter, and it can also be a decent attacker. And then this Dark Rise, the set piece, the centerpiece of the deck, with Dark Pulse for twenty plus twenty more for each Dark Energy attached to all your Pokemon, and then Dark Head for eighty if the opponent's asleep. It's eighty more, but I don't see any way for us to efficiently put the opponent to sleep. Um, so to move energy around, we're going to be playing Energy Switch, you know, testing that out. Play two field lower to ramp out or accelerate energy onto the field. We're going to be playing four Max Elixir for healing throughout the game, Max Potion. Two, one Rescue Stretcher for this Dark Rite or a Tapu Lele. One Switch, you never know when you need it. Four Ultra Ball, it's Ultra Ball. <laughs> Uh, two of these stadiums, Parallel City. It's been really, really good for me. It's funny because I've Parallel City myself to put my den my bench down and drop two of these guys and then Field Blowered it and then use their ability to get two more energy out of the discard pile, and it's been pretty good. Po Town to lock up some more damage. You know, 30 more damage on an evolving, let's say, Gardevoir or a tra Trash Alliance Pokemon. Or even to put... Um, Decidueyes in an awkward spot to where Dark Rite can get some decent two KOs, two hit KOs, or just a knockout with it. Guzma because it's Guzma. Four N, two Kakui, four Sycamore. Support account I feel like has to be a little higher. Honestly, I'm still testing around with the list, so we'll see. Uh, three Choice Band. I'm kind of debating between Choice Band and Fighting Fury Bell. But for now, we'll just test it at Choice Band. Uh, and two Floatstone, you know, for retreating if you need to. Specifically for Lele and this Dark Rye to move to a different Dark Rye. And then 12 Dark Energy. So we'll just play a few games on this. Some free play. Oh, I've got seven hours to get up Will Canyon that I already have. So yeah, let's see how this game goes. Uh, let's go heads. I lost a coin flip. Alright, so that's not what I want to start with. I don't want to give my opponent a draw. So that's the hope here is to start with the baby Evital get a dark energy in the discard pile and put a dark pulse dark right on the bench that's the goal and we've got one of those we are done right there okay so he's playing we the uh, dark something we vile the Reign of Evil Weavile. And with Drompa, interesting choice there. And he's going to pass? Yep. Alright, so... I'm actually going to play one. And Elixir him. Now we'll just sycamore. 
All right, so found dark cry. We'll max elixir again. Put it there. Hotel will just make his drop a better. <clears throat> hmm. Gonna restoration. I'll just end right there. So yeah, turn one three energy out seems pretty good. Lysander, yeah. What's good for me is I have switch, so I know he's not going to uh, end me. You can go out. Uh, I don't want to give him new cards because he's shown me that he doesn't really have anything. But I don't really want a Kakui. So we'll go. We've got Sycamore. Yeah. It's weird. I've had four Sycamores prized a lot lately, and it's been kind of annoying. <laughs> yes. All right, so we'll just dump draw. I'm losing supporters, but it's kind of like whatever. Hmm. That's fine. Just do that. We'll energy switch you. We'll put on this dark right. We'll dark pulse for a hundred. Dark energy. Gizmo. Alright. So that's that's the game plan. I'd like to get more energy out or draw some more energy naturally, but I'm not seeing any right now. Fortunately, I don't want to sycamore those both the Guzmas away. This isn't a teammate to get two cards. <clears throat> I can OHKO Drompa if I get no I can't OHKO Drompa with two energy I would need three yeah I would need three energy but it doesn't look like he's going to OHKO me either he's, he's, we're going to be two shotting or he's just not going to attack with it Sure. Sure. So you find an energy with this. We did. We'll go on Dark Cry. We'll Sycamore. Found an energy. Now, yeah, we'll just keep this bench smaller. And we'll dark holes for 120. I don't think, I think I forgot to add energy. <laughs> yeah, so he's just gonna boom, boom. Yeah. And then Righteous Edge, or Big Wheel, all right. Hmm. 
So yeah, we'll take three prize cards this next turn. As and if he doesn't end me. I just now realize I could just field blower that away and just get the knockout. You can just field blower both and then make that smaller. So yeah. He's gonna attack, uh, so he's not gonna enemy, that's good. So I'll be able to field blower and get a prize card there on the Weavile. And Drompa's gonna do the max, so 120, so each of these guys will be at 120, which is fine. And you can take six prize cards, and that's not good. This is awkward. See, so we just lost, actually. We'll just play it out, I guess. I don't know what to do right now. Yeah, and then he's gonna retreat. Well, if he retreats, he can't win this turn. Because he won't have an energy. He'll he's probably gonna shovel back three Weavile. But yeah, that's just three. Weavile Sneasel. Yeah, seeing that there's no max potion left, I just can't win. Dark Pulse. Yep. That was not what I wanted to see happen. So yeah, in the in that game, the choice bands are just worse than the belt. And I've already been wanting to play Belt over Choice Band because of the HP gain. Probably drop this. Add its Rolla. Alright, let's give this a shot. Yeah, the game did not go 
the way I wanted it to. Uh, we'll go with Tails. Tails. Yeah, of course. It's what I don't pick. Okay, so he's gonna mulligan, and I'm gonna get that draw. And I don't really have supporters I want on the turn one. Yes. Okay, well I found this, I, I found Lele, so. And he clearly doesn't have supporters he wants either. Or any Pokemon he needs, so I'll go for an N. Helping your opponent is cool. So I'll N. I don't know what he's playing, so I'll just do this. And I'll end turn. Alright, so he's playing Brooklyn Hill. He's playing probably Lycanroc or something water. Or he's not playing water because he's. I'm assuming he's not playing water because of this. And the only other deck I can think of that plays <laughs> fighting types is. Or he's playing Monkey Tribal. Oh no. I know what this is. It's going to do like 2 million damage. So, team play this type of 30 damage for each of your bench Pissimian. So, 90, 120, 130. What does he have prized? He has a Pissimian prized and a Mew prized, so that's difficult for him. We're gonna Ultra Ball both Dark Energy for Lele. You know, Lele for Sycamore. Ultra Ball for you. Pick up an energy. Still got two in the discard pile. Um. Yeah, so we'll just Oblivion Wing here. We'll go on Darkrai, and then, yeah. It's kind of awkward that you don't OHKO, but I didn't want to Kakui and just draw two. Actually, thinking about it now, I probably should have done that. What I need to find is a parallel city. 
Sycamore. Lysander. Okay, interesting choice. Okay, I guess he knows he's not going to knock me out. Just kind of going for a stall, I guess. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, I don't have weakness to it, so I don't get knocked out. Just look at that. Parallel City. <laughs> That's fine right there. So it's either going to have the dump, a Pissimian, yeah, and the Remoraid, or drop a Rangaroo and another Pissimian. Alright, so... We're going to switch. You will be the active now. We'll Oblivion Wing and then add the energy to the Bench Darkrai. Yes, I don't think of I don't think he can win off this anymore. Especially with the parallel city there. Since his deck revolves around using your bench, it's not going to work. With only a bench of three. Because I'm actually doing it that as a hundred, hundred and thirty with a band. You'll always just be two shotting and then it's always be one shotting at this point. Puzzle, probably gonna pick up, or is just gonna look. See if his draws are any better. Okay, so we flip two puzzle, picked up two cards. Let's go for the knockout. At least I would assume so. Sycamore, right. Draw a fresh hand of seven. Maybe look for a field blower. Move that out of the way. Or a sky field. What's weird with this is I'm I've built this for post rotation. And I see cards like this and I'm like I'm not going to ever be in a situation where that effect matters in a real game when I actually have this built in paper. And I'm like, man, now I know how to play against, uh, let's say, Skyfield, like right now. And I think about it, I'm like, oh, wait, I'm never going to play against Skyfield. So it's just kind of pointless, I guess, to learn about it. Like, Playing against Via Seeker. Playing against Via Seeker, in my opinion, one of the best cards ever printed. It's kind of difficult to want to justify because you won't be. So, since you're practicing for post rotation, it just kind of doesn't matter. You're picking up a Ringuru and, and. or DCE, or a Ringuru Mew. Oh, buddy. It's just, uh. Hurry up and decide. So we got Kikui. So I'm just gonna play Kikui, I want that draw. The draw was good. The draw was very real. Touch here. Cool, okay, dark right. 
We got one energy in the discard pile, so. Look at you, little cutie pie. You're gonna be doing 110, da 110 damage. No, you'll be doing 130 damage. Oh, how I'm gonna miss you. Wait, this Steam Siege. Well, whatever it says from. It's a very, very good card in my opinion. I played in Decidui. I love it. It lets me play greedy mana bases like four Rainbow Energy and four DCE. Just get destroyed by Drompa because of it. But it's just A1 because I'm like, no, Drompa, no. And then he just gives me the energies back. So we'll bench this Dark Rai. We'll belt him. And we'll open another Dark Pulse knockout. Not really much to think about here. Cool, Ultra Ball. I don't need to Ultra Ball for any Pokemon at this point. I've got everything I need. Teammates to search for two cards. The only thing I could hope for right now is draw into a Dark Rai and then. Ultra Ball away and then find another Dark Cry. And then have more energy to make Dark Pulse do more damage. So then I get rid of the belts. Rip belts. So we've leveled the playing field. That is not what I wanted to see. Yeah, so we just kind of lost to ourselves. I need to draw a, so a sycamore. Yeah, this game's done. They can restoration twice. But it's not going to do anything, so we just end the game there. So yeah, it, it runs into some problems like that. That is pretty weird honestly like it's kind of annoying that you play such a, a much higher supporter count and you don't find supporters you're playing nine draw supporters three utility supporters so yeah well if you enjoyed the video uh, like it if you want to see more subscribe if you have any suggestions let me know in the comments and this has been fernando with tcg hot rocks and i'll see you in the next one